Hi, I'm John. I'm a maths teacher currently teaching in Brixton. Today, I'm going to help you go through some maths problems, such as this, and I hope that it helps. Let's say you want to work out the area of the following rectangular prism. As the rectangular prism is a shape in 3D, oh. first of all it takes clever drawing, and secondly it has three dimensions. It has its depth, its length, and its width. Let's say that these dimensions were the following. Let's say it was 4 centimetres wide, 10 centimetres long, and 2 centimetres high, or deep. To work out the volume of this object now, what we first need to do is work out the area of the face shape here, which is a rectangle. We know that the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by width, either way. So that means that the area of our rectangle, or our base shape, is 4 multiplied by 2, which is 8 centimetres squared, because we're dealing with an area, so we're now in two dimensions. The final step to find the area of the volume of the prism is to multiply this number by the length of the prism. 8 centimetres squared multiplied by 10 centimetres is 80 centimetres cubed. Remember, centimetre squared multiplied by centimetres gives us centimetre cubed. And that makes sense because we're dealing with a 3D object. So the volume, I'm just going to write vol, of the rectangular prism is 80 centimetres cubed. Just to recap once more, the first step is to work out the area of the base shape, which was 4 times 2, with centimetre squared as our units and then multiply it by the length of the prism, which was 10 centimetres. This gave us 8 multiplied by 10 with units of centimetre cubed, 80 centimetres cubed. And that is how to work out the area, the volume of a rectangular prism. <laughs> 